Please visit us at audible.co.uk forward slash 360 to download a free audiobook with over 60,000 titles available, including the whole Game of Thrones series, World War Z, and many, many more. So visit us today at audible.co.uk forward slash 360. Hi guys, it's Webby here uh, with the Forza Horizon 1000 DLC. Just want to talk to you about it for a little bit. Uh, it's going to be a very short video. In case the 1000 Club is now upon us. Here it is. I'm in my nice Lamborghini here. So if you load up the game, a single player, you'll get an automatic download to download the 1000 Club. That's so what the 1000 Club is. It gives you 1000 extra challenges to do uh, for different cars. And it's really, really good because, you know, the single player campaign of Forza Horizon was quite short. Completed that in about 8 or 9 hours. So this has given you a lot of extra content to play with throughout the game. Uh, so 1000 extra challenges for all different types of cars, as you can see on the screen right here. And you can also compare your medals against your friends as well. See, Braddy Boy is actually beating me at the moment. Uh, but the cool thing is as well, so I'm in my Lamborghini, you can see in the left hand corner of the screen I've got three gold medals already. And how you check your current challenges for your current car, just press up on the D-pad, as I've done there, and it will tell you the challenges, and when you complete the challenge, you'll get a gold medal, as I have on the top three there. So what I'm going to show you very quickly is the festival event, uh, which is the Win the Bullfight Festival, and if, when I win that, I will earn an extra medal. So let's go and do it. Enter event. To do this thing. Oh, it's too quick. Well, no I have to reconfigure it. Shame. Right, okay. Let's just do all that anyway. So yeah, I'm really, really glad that the, this DLC has come out. I'm not a season pass owner, but I do have the rally pack. Uh, but that was quite short as well, which was quite annoying, but it was still a fun DLC pack anyway. Um, so this is hopefully going to give us a lot more content to play with. Uh, Forza is one of the most pinnacle racing games on the Xbox 360 at the moment. So I'm really, really glad about this. Um, and hopefully it will reignite the uh, Mojo community to get back online as well and do some more races. So here we go, do a nice race, some cool music going in the background, that's just, you know, I love this game, it's just the graphics, the handling of the cars, it's just pretty much perfect really, there's not much else you could really want in a racer, I'm just loving it, just like nudging people out of the way, when I get to first place, come on! Here we go, first place. Boom. Who's your daddy now? Flinty. Yeah, so this um, DLC pack has come at quite a surprise to a lot of people, uh, especially me, because there is a season pass for Forza. And, uh, you know, Forza Turn 10 have always been renowned, especially with the previous Forza title. You pay a lot of money for the season pass, and they only really release car packs. Um, but with this DLC it's actually free to everybody and it includes two cars as well. Uh, one of them is an RUF, which is uh, a Porsche kind of manufacturer. And I forget what the other car is and, I'm not, and I can't look it up right now because I'm actually racing and I've just crashed. What a noob. And oh, he just hit me. But, you know, it's just really nice to have some challenges to do, as I say, because you know, what other reason would I have to go back and do this race? I've already won it once before in the single player campaign, and now I have another reason to go and do it. So, you know, stuff that gives you a reason to go back to playing a brilliant game is just really, really good. Um, it's added an extra 250 achievement points as well, so that's an added bonus for people who uh, like to maximise their gamer score. So, you know, it's a really, really cool thing, and it just gives you more of a reason as well to purchase more cars and a reason to actually race those cars as well. So, that's all good, man. Let himself come first. Uh, you won't expect any less, really, will you? So, yeah, that's really, really cool, and I have 
completed that race and I should now, when we get back in from the loading screen, I should have a gold medal. Hopefully. You never know. Yep. Medal earned. And look, just as I get a medal, Peeps pops on. So yeah, you know, um, Forza Horizon 1000 DLC, if you still own Forza Horizon, I recommend you pick it up. Because it is absolutely brilliant. Uh, you know, just this 1000 Club is just pure class, and I cannot wait to complete all these challenges, which I will complete. So, um, you know, this will be awesome. And just before we end, you can see my cheesy Lamborghini with the 360 Gamer Car stuff on it. Awesome. So, yeah, guys, uh, thanks very much for watching. And you can find us at www.360gamercast.com for the time being until we change over to mojo-interactive.net and on Twitter at mojo underscore int. I am Webby317. As always, keep it cool. We'll see you soon. Hey, you're making quite a name for yourself now. So I think it's time we introduce you to a special competition. One where you'll be competing against the entire community. This is the Horizon 1000 Club. We've created challenges for every single car at the Horizon Festival. Every time you complete one, you'll earn a medal. Some may be about speed and skill, whereas others might just be about showing off. You choose the car, we'll set the challenges. Ultimately, the more cars you own, the more medals you can earn. We'll even recommend challenges so you can earn achievements faster and beat your friends. Think you've got what it takes to reach 1,000? Great! Get out there and earn your spot in the club. Wow.